Good afternoon, I'm Mark Adams, Deputy Head Teacher and Achievement for All Champion at Friars Academy in Wellingborough uh, Secondary Special School in Northamptonshire. Um, good afternoon, I'm Rob Lancaster, the Achievement for All Coach for Friars Academy. Undoubtedly the biggest impact has been through uh, the use of the structured conversations. When we initially engaged with Achievement for All programme, our parental consultations followed a very traditional model of five to ten minutes discussing an aspect of data and progress. We've now trialled the structured conversations a number of months ago with our Achievement for All cohorts, uh, had two groups of eight pupils. Uh, they were so successful and the feedback was so positive from staff and families, we are intending to run that across the whole school, so all 147 pupils will have experience of structured conversations with next year's academic model looking at doing that at least twice a year as well as the annual review. The structured conversations have been the most pivotal tool in order to help my staff understand the constraints at home, just if it's understanding the routine of being able to get their autistic child out of the house in the morning, onto transport and then into school, as much as it is to for the parents to learn about their child's experience of the school day. That information has been pivotal in helping understanding, engaging our parents further and therefore providing a better experience during their school life in order to prepare them for post-16. The great thing about Fry's is that um, they're willing to go the extra mile and to go deeper in their thinking and so within structured conversations is the whole aspect of parental engagement which is critically important in looking at student progress. We were able to identify some areas, um, interesting enough, around the informal curriculum you could describe to build relationships between um, the school, staff, parents and pupils together and that kind of collaboration, although be, albeit informal, um, really pays dividends because it's actually relationships with a purpose and the purpose is to improve the outcomes for families and children and without taking into account the family dynamics and the parents, um, you're missing a trick. At the centre of this process lies a child and I never come to Friars without exposing myself to teaching and learning. So I'll either, I'll either be on duty with Mark in the yard, I'll either be in a science lesson so that I get a real feel for what the school is all about and they get a real feel for who I am because in a special school relationships do matter and trust matters and uh, I was absolutely delighted um, when last June Mark told me on his birthday that he was being inspected by Ofsted and, uh, and as a result of that process not at all surprised that they'd moved from good to outstanding. Working with Bob um, has been a fantastic opportunity for us. Um, Rob provides a very good third party uh, critique for us um, and I think probably going through the needs analysis process and then identifying areas where we can develop um, our systems, improve the opportunities that are there available for our pupils. One of the biggest benefits for me is to have somebody who has got experience of special education needs at a leadership level, providing experience from a broader range rather than just Friars Academy. Um, it's, it's great to work with our young pupils here, but of course it's a demanding role and a significant amount of my focus is upon Friars Academy. It is wonderfully useful to be able to experience elements from other academies and other areas who are also operating at a good to outstanding level. Um, because of course it's not about reinventing the wheel, it's about learning good practice and applying it to our context. It's been um, a very useful use of our time and resources in order to support our pupils to fully prepare them for post-16. We don't want to just rest on any kind of laurels about being an outstanding academy or indeed a special education provision. We want to make sure that we're continually developing and improving and making sure that the young people who come here and the staff who work here, um, that it is a first-class institution.